Candice, you're in Randberg. Hi. Um, so I'm an IVF baby. I was mm. one of the first IVF babies in South Africa. I was born in 1990. Mm. So um, I went through IVF myself to have my miracle twins that are now two and a half years old. So um, I'm very open with my uh, with my journey. I went to Vitalab to get my, my my twins, and we're very lucky to have our transfer work the second time. Um, it's definitely one of the hardest journeys I've ever had to experience, but I've had had the best support from the team there at Vitalab, and I'm just so grateful. Dr. Fulshank and them helped me to get my twins, and then mm. 15 months later, I fell pregnant naturally with my own baby. So um, I was able to conceive naturally, which I didn't think I ever would be able to. Mm. So um, it was very difficult, but I feel like there's such a stigma around it, and it's so important to actually discuss and to be open about it. I mean, I literally introduced my kids as, hey, these are my twins, I had them by IVF. Sure. You know, and here's my journey, and, and yeah. this is what I want to tell people. And I just want to tell everyone that it, it is, it's is—it's really difficult, but it's so important to have a good support system. Like, I'm, I'm part of so many Facebook groups that I run for IVF uh, people mm. uh, who are going through it. And, you know, I try to be there for as many people as I can. And, you know, I started a lot of these groups. And it's just really important to raise awareness of IVF and that it does work. It's difficult and it's, it's hard and infertility. I mean, I, I went through so much before having to do IVF. Mm. Um, I, you know, I, I went through having to do, having to try naturally, but then go to IUIs and then finally IVF. And it was difficult. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not cheap as well. It's, you mm. know, we really have to do a lot of, of saving to get there. So um, it's, it's just something people mustn't give up hope. I know IVF doesn't work for everybody, but for us, we were very lucky to have our, our, our little twins and for me to have my little natural boy. And for me to be a quintuplet who came from IVF, I think it's quite a, mm. it's quite a cool, it's, it's quite a cool, you know, story to tell. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's really hard. And I feel like, you know, hearing everyone's stories, it's, it's painful, but it, it's just, Talking about it makes it so much easier and seeing the community and seeing the people who are going through it and who are going through the same thing. I think it's important that we talk about it and it's important that, you know, like I, I like to share that it was so hard. I mean, I, I, I had thousands of needles, you know, I injected myself thousands of times. I mm. mean, it's crazy. So mm. it's just a happy to, but it's, science is amazing. I still have three embryos sitting in Vice Labs there if I want any more, I don't think I do. Yeah. So yeah, it's um it's 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 hard to be told that it's your only option. Yeah. But it's Can also it's yeah. Yeah. Look, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And I love that, you know, those that have had a success are also encouraging others that may still be trying. Thank you so much for, for calling us, Candice.